Welcome students. Uh, this is a quick video on um, how to work with the materials that we're going to be using for some of our projects in this class. The material that we're using is called foam board. And what it is, is a piece of foam that is sandwiched in between two heavy pieces of paper. Um, and it's very stiff and uh, when folded together you can make three-dimensional shapes out of a flat piece of two-dimensional foam board. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. How do you fold foam board to get three-dimensional shapes out of it. So if you come in close here, you can see what you would first need to do is measure and mark on your foam board the shapes that you eventually need to cut out, okay? And you also need to take into account the thickness of the foam board when you are folding it. This foam board is 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. And so in order to fold a piece of foam board, you need to remove a chunk of the foam 3 sixteenths of an inch wide in order to be able to fold it, okay? So you'll see what I mean here in a second. First thing that you need to do is measure how far in that you need. In this case, this piece from this line to that is an inch and a quarter. So I would put a mark right there, and then I would measure over 3 sixteenths of an inch and put another mark. In order to make sure that I have a nice straight line, I'm gonna do the exact same thing down at this end of the foam board. Measure over an inch and a quarter and three sixteenths of an inch. Put my marks there. And then what I would do is using a straight edge, I would connect those dots with a line. And this is the chunk of foam that you are going to remove, okay? So at this point, you're gonna take a sharp knife and a straight edge, and you are going to cut through the top layer of foam, uh, top layer of paper and a little bit of the foam. You're not going to cut all the way through, all right? You don't wanna cut this bottom piece of paper. You wanna cut the top paper and about half of the foam. So this takes a little bit of practice, otherwise you'll cut too deeply. Um, if you do accidentally cut too deeply, you can just stick a piece of tape on the back and fix it, so not a big problem, but you wanna try not to, okay? So what I would do is line up my straight edge again, and I would take a sharp knife. Um, if you're at home, you can use, uh, maybe you have a box cutter, um, an X-Acto knife, something at home. Um, even a sharp uh, kitchen knife or a pocket knife would work fine, but you do have to make sure that you're not cutting all the way through. You would run your knife right along this line that we drew, cutting through about half of the thickness. You would do the same thing for this second line, 3 16 of an inch away, cut through about half of the thickness. At that point, you can take it to the edge of a table and break it at that place that you cut. So you'll notice I didn't cut through this bottom paper because I want that to act as a hinge, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it over on itself like this, and I'm gonna use my fingernail to work along this other cut and tear out this piece 3 16 of an inch wide on this piece of foam board and totally remove it. So the bottom layer of paper is still there and still intact. The top layer and the foam is gone. So you can see that from the side there. At this point, I can now fold this foam board and get three-dimensional shapes out of it. I can fold it up at 90 degrees and get three-dimensional shapes out of it, okay? There's two ways that you can fold this foam. If you take a look, if this is your bottom plate and this is your side plate, I can fold it so this side plate goes on top or above this bottom plate. That would look like this. I can also fold it so this side plate goes beside this bottom plate, and that would look like this. Do you see the difference? This is called a B fold because this side plate is beside this bottom plate. You see it's beside. Look at right at this corner right here, you can see that. Versus this is called an A fold where the side plate goes above the bottom plate. A fold, this piece is above this piece. B fold means this piece 
is beside this piece. And you see it changes the dimension of your overall final product. If I fold an A fold like this, it means my, my final fold, the project is more narrow but taller in this direction, right? Because it's going above. If I fold a B fold like this, it's a little bit wider in this dimension, but less tall in this dimension because of the type of fold that I did. Um, if you are using a kit to make something, and we will be using kits at some point, the pieces tell you which type of fold to use. This piece is supposed to be folded and glued together using an A-fold. It tells you that right on the piece and gives you a little diagram of what that A-fold looks like if you have forgotten. If you are building something that is your own design, it doesn't matter if you use an A-fold or a B-fold, but it does change your dimensions, so you need to factor that into your measurements when you are planning um, how big you want these pieces to be and where you make your cuts. Because again, if you fold it as an A-fold or a B-fold, it's going to change the size of your um, shape once you get it all together. Okay, um, You're going to need this information, um, this style of construction in building uh, lots of the projects that we build um, this year in this class. Um, again, we measure the size that we want it to be. We make two lines 3 sixteenths of an inch apart and remove that chunk of foam. That allows us then to fold the foam into three-dimensional shapes. So that's the procedure. If you have any questions, call us or email us um, or talk to us in our live feeds. And uh, good luck with the project. Thanks for watching.